Hello and welcome. I am Zinder, and here we are again, back in Ultra Hardcore. As you can see, it's just turning night. I wanted to try to give you another night of trying to get uh, Ender Pearls. So, farming Endermen as long as I spawn. I've been down in the arrow thing, collected some, uh, redid some stuff down here. Of course, so that can wait till day. Another thing I want to do during the day is I want to see if I can find at least enough gold for another gold block down in that mine shaft. It's a little bit dangerous, I know, but I would like to go in there with at least three more potions. Although, I don't believe that will necessarily be possible. Oops. Well, there goes that melon plant. Well, I don't believe that will necessarily be possible. I'm going to try and be very careful about it, as in, I should be able to just arrow to death anything. Right, like this. Not like that. Like that. Because I won't have to worry about uh, running out of arrows now. This also means I won't have to risk unnecessary damage. Yeah, I am going to end up cutting through the bow pretty quickly. But that's part of the reason why I'm killing spiders right now. Well, killing everything, but... And my trajectory prediction is off. Luckily, my goal for today is not to be killing the Ender Dragon, because otherwise I would be in some serious shit. Hey, you. Okay, now. I would really, really like for some Endermen to spawn. Hey, you. Who said you could be there? Now. I stashed stuff away in a chest. Or I should say in the chest down near the, uh... Oh, shit. Spawner farm. I'll show you guys that right whenever. Now, pretty much whenever day rolls around. I, this is getting ridiculous. I'm gonna have to move the Enderman farming platform up to there so I can get a nice higher spot to work with. I should help me find things better. And. Yeah. Some of that zombie is kind of zombieing. Yes, zombieing. And I apologize for the sound of the fan on the microphone on the last episode. That was not intentional. It's been really, really hot lately. It's even hotter today yesterday than or today than it is yesterday. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say, and I apparently can't say it. Um, I have not seen. Yeah, I'm gonna. Have to, I'm gonna have to move that the next day cycle that I get a chance to. As you can see, I've been collecting me collecting melons quite readily. Light this up a bit more, just because I don't want things showing up here, especially right here. And quick scan for Enderman. Do not see any. Hey, guy. Anyhow, we're going to go down, see if we can't find some more gold. If I find some Endermen, I will create mini wall platforms to kill them down below. And I should do something about this. Ooh, there's some dark spots in here. Could just be the lighting. Could be my texture pack, to be honest. I never did flesh out some of the weird... Darkness it has. Now, how did I get down here? Pretty sure I dug in. Oh, I dug through the stairs. Not that way. Oop. In case you're wondering what I'm after, I'm pretty sure there was a ravine in one of these directions. And I'm actually looking for the ravine. 
Yeah, here we go. If I'm gonna find gold, this is gonna be one of the easiest places to look for it. Should be, anyhow. Could also be quite difficult. I also wanted another bucket of lava. It's another reason why I wanted to come down here. Whoa. Whoops. There we go. Uh, I don't want to mine the iron. It's because I don't want it in my inventory, but... Okay. Looks like I can get around it. Coal. So I'm going to be running around looking for more gold. I mean, the mine shaft is a good place too, but I mean, I'm so close to the, uh, the cave spider spawner that I just don't want to risk it. Okay. But, uh, we're going to journey out through this bedrock level thing here. Said that water's gonna be a bit of a nuisance. Light this up. Hopefully, I'll find some gold. I only need eight pieces, because I have that one. See, the bedrock fog isn't helping with things looking dark as well, so... And now we've created one lone piece of cobblestone. What I should be doing is lighting up near the walls some, so that way I can look for gold up there. And jumping around near a pit of lava is not the smartest thing I've ever done. So dark, so dark. Seriously? Redstone and coal. That's all I've seen is redstone and coal. Oh, handy then. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Damn it! <sighs> I need one piece of gold. One, just one, please. You see that? Right there. I think that's gold. Oh yeah, that is definitely gold. What is the safest way up there? I would not call this safe, what I'm about to do. Do you see now why I'm saying this isn't safe? Because it isn't? not safe at all. I hear a skeleton. <gasps> okay. I'm guessing he fell down. Come on. Okay, there's... I don't know how many pieces of gold are there. I only need one. Appears to be two. Now, I can go back down, like this, 
at a wall so I wouldn't fall off on the way up in case I got shot by something or whatever. And now I got my gold. So I, I guess that completes what I wanted to complete for the day. That was simpler and faster than I was expecting. We're going to go check and see if daytime has hopefully come and passed. If it's daytime, we'll put another little platform. Show you what I did down inside the uh, spawner trap. It's nothing too impressive. Wait a second here. Is this always here? Yeah, this was always here. See, now this makes me wonder just how close this was to the other area. Ugh. Screw it. We're not wasting time with the exploration. I'm just gonna go back the way that I know. I'm not entirely sure why I did this little thing here, but... Anywho, enough screwing around. We are going to go back out where the spawner and stuff are and I, I guess I guess that's all I have to say is I guess this is the way, right way right it's a zombie being on a door somewhere sounds like it's up top we don't have to worry about him because I blocked that off I don't care about wasting melon. Hopefully nobody gets mad about me wasting it. Is it daytime? That is the important question. How much is left of the daytime? Oh. I wonder. Yeah, it's technically raining. But because it doesn't rain in the desert. So, this also means I don't know what time of day it is. I'll be able to tell when it starts becoming night, theoretically. Puddle of water. Okay, this spot here seems like a good enough spot as any. I'm probably just going to build one of the mini platforms. Well, yeah. I'm going to make sure there's at least two spaces for them to stand on. Let's see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? So, that leave. Two on each side, that leave me with four. Right? Probably not. The important thing is that I leave them their two spaces. One, two? Okay. Ah! we go. That'll mark the center spot. Okay. Whoops. Now, this thing should be symmetrical, I hope. Is that village always there? I would assume I've already seen that. So I'm going to assume I've been there. Speaking of which, villages, that's a desert village. And in the next uh, patch, houses are going to be built based on, or out of materials based on the biome they're found in. So that entire thing will be built out of sandstone, which is interesting. Just throwing some stuff I don't need over the edge here.
guess while I'm standing here. Oh, crap. Uh, one, two, three. Alright. Figure I'm sitting here, wasting time. Why not cook this stuff up? Alright? Right. Why are you not nighttime yet? Now, I realize there's going to be some wasted coal here, but I'm gonna try and get the sand in as quickly as possible. I'm trying to think what other potions can be made. I could always make some sugar, get some reeds, make some swiftness potions. I could. I don't really think that's too beneficial, though. Mm. Eh, why not? And there's water there, so I don't even need to pour out my bucket. Hmm. I really wish I could tell what time of day it was. You know by the time I get back there, most of that's going to be wasted. Everyone knows it. Because I spent so much time screwing around. Whoops. One more piece. Okay. Turn this into sugar. Make a couple more torches for good measure. Why not? Just make sure I have them. Something's a little bit out of whack with this, but that's okay. might not be symmetrical, but I'm fine with that. Hopefully you're fine with that. And hopefully it becomes nighttime soon, because... Yeah. Okay. Whoops. I don't need you anymore. We one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like so. Gold block and a melon. I'm gonna see if I can't get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory. <sighs> Not really. I don't. I should. I really should. Get rid of it, that is. It doesn't really serve me a purpose anymore. But I don't want to just throw it out. I'd rather throw it in a chest. It looks like the sun is setting. So... Ten minutes left on this. And we're going to hopefully find some Enderman, too. That'd be nice. Temporarily sit this here. I can put the potions in it after I'm done and come back to it later. Of course, I can always just throw these things in here. I should just make a fresh bow. Yeah, they last long enough. I'll just make a fresh bow right now. Throw out the old one. Well, I won't throw it out. I'll throw it in here. Okay, making 
bow. Bow is made. And got some enchanting levels, so I will enchant it. Five, 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 five. And power one. Good, good. Exactly what I wanted. Throw the string in there. Uh, turn this in torches. Just throw this in here at the moment. Keeping the wood for good measure. I don't need all that extra cobble. I'm going to need at least nine open slots by the end of this. Eh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Screw it. I've got this. Might as well do double brewing. Keep an eye out for Enderman. Of which I'm not seeing any at the moment. This is depressing. How am I going to get to the end if Endermen don't spawn? I mean, seriously? Seriously? Oh well. I still wish I could shift click these in. That should be something they add in the next patch. You can now shift click bottles into brewing stands. Yes, I'm aware brewing out in the open in the middle of the night is quite possibly one of the dumbest things I could ever do. And I'm going to temporarily take this out because why not? Okay. I figure if I kill mobs, that'll be mobs that I don't have to worry about. Like, it should free up spawning space for it to spawn some Endermen. That's my theory. Oops, bumped my mic there. Hmm. Hmm. I am going to have to end up transitioning this to an Enderman killing spree at some point. Just because I can't seem to find any Enderman. Hey, you. You. Oh, come on. You. You. Up there. On the hill. Now where'd he go? <sighs> I should have built it up on the hill. I can worry about that for next time. In the meantime... Dead skeleton. Look at all that experience laying around that I don't want to risk going and getting. I'm sorry this is so uneventful. Oh, I should have got some redstone so I can make uh, longer sprint potions. Swiftest potions. Of course, though, with any luck, it shouldn't take me more than, what, an entire episode? And if I make six potions, that would be an entire episode? Could make them swiftness, too. Just because it'd be funny. No? Maybe not? I got three. I never did look to see if there's any in that portal already. Oh, there's a waste of an arrow. Good thing I don't really have to worry about that. Practicing my bow skills. Which apparently suck.
Wow. What? Oh, come on. Ah! How many errors have I wasted? Like, half a stack. I say wasted, because it essentially is wasting arrows. I'm just launching them. You know, I should've, uh, like... That's what I should do. I should just make outposts like this. Just little Enderman platforms everywhere. And then just run around looking for Enderman. Just transitioning from platform to platform. Uh, the night's almost over. Skeletons are looking at me funny. Instant health two. Well, so much for making instant health two, huh? You know, I won't need to bring the brewing stands with me into the, uh... End. So, I guess that'll free up space. One slot. Eh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll only really need, what, my armor? A couple of tools, some building blocks, just in case. Pumpkin, which will be on my head, so I guess that won't really... I won't need the helmet. I thought about modifying the uh, pumpkin overlay just for this, but I figured, why not? Why not leave it as it is, provide with some extra difficulty. Leave this brewing stand here, leave that gold there. Throw this back in here. Put this on the bar. Well, this sucks. Grab my enchanting table. I'm not leaving that here. I really should not have the lava on my bar. Okay. No damage. I like it when I take no damage. It makes me very happy. Die, you creeper! Well, guys, looks like day's approaching. Gonna harvest some more melon. I'm not gonna have any worry of food. Uh, one thing we're going to do just, uh, before we stop here is we're going to head down, we're going to place these in, and we're going to see if there's any already in there. I'm probably going to do something about this roof. I'm going to raise it one more off camera, just because there shouldn't be anything too dangerous about that, if I'm being intelligent. Is there any in here already? Oh, there is one. Okay, so we need... Uh, Oh, I didn't realize this thing took, uh, 12. It took... I kept on thinking 9. Man, I'm glad I brought so much extra blaze powder. But, I need 8 more Eye of Enders. So that's terrible. Keep an instant health on my bar, a food on my bar, and blocks on my bar. But, uh, I think what I'm gonna do... I'm going to make this my little safe room. You see that? I just want to make sure that there's no silver fish in my walls. Before... So I want to make a door here so this can be our little safe room. Uh, 
See, I would have thought there would have been more silver fish in the walls. Not that one. Not that one. Okay, I have a really bad idea. You're probably wondering what this bad idea consists of. And it consists of risks of losing my health. Hey, silverfish. 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 around some more, make sure there's no more. I think it starts with ones closest to it first, whenever you injure it, and because that one came out of the hallway behind me, I'm thinking there might not be any more in here, but better safe than sorry. Ooh, there's one. Oh, I hear the sound of silverfish all around me. I hear them all around me, but not in my room. Oh, shit. Okay, that's because they ended up down there. Okay. I'm going to check these blocks first, just because I don't want a repeat of what just happened. Yes, I'm aware this episode's going to become longer than I normally want them to be, just because of me screwing around with these things, but I want to make sure this room is safe. That's a silverfish. They out here. Hello? Hello? I feel like I should check the ceiling now. All the walls. This is a complete waste of your time, and I apologize. want to make sure that this place is entirely safe. Okay, silverfish. I believe I checked this entire room. Shit. I didn't mean to kill it. Oh, I punched him to death. Wasn't expecting that. Any dudes? Yeah, I'm aware this episode is going to be filled with just me looking for these guys. I think I've got a majority of this room checked. Ow! You. Oh no. Do you hear that? They're everywhere. They're in the walls, they're in the floors. Just saw a block break, but nothing came out of it. There you are, you bugger. Get down here.
Where are they coming from? They're in the ceiling. Okay, I'm just gonna check my entire floor first. Like I'm doing. Uh, you know, this is terrible. Why am I doing it? It's a waste of your time. And there's no way they would ever come out unless I actually tried to break the block they were in. So, whatever. Apologize for wasting your time there. Oops. Actually, screw it. Getting rid of that, rid of that, rid of that. You can make... I'm aware I keep making these things, chests and whatnot. It's going to be the last one I make. The last chest of the series. That I craft. Not that I use. I'm just going to throw things in here that... The likelihood of me using... I might make another diamond sword before I go in and enchant it. Um, Brewing stand. Okay. I don't suspect I'll be using any more of that. I'll probably make another iron pick before I go in. Just for good measure. Keep building blocks. Anyhow... Hold there. I will see you guys next time.